you guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to be doing a hair tutorial you guys have been asking 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 literally um how i style my hair how i maintain my hair between my uh, relaxers so yeah today i decided to wash my hair not because i wanted to but because it was dirty and stiff okay and i needed to watch it so yeah i decided to go ahead and film a video for you guys since i watched it and you guys wanted to know how i do it anyway so i've already washed and conditioned my hair i just put it in a towel to soak up as much moisture as possible but if you want to see how i style my hair um definitely keep on watching before we get into the video if you are new to my channel hey girl i do videos on beauty fashion and lifestyle majority fashion so if you are someone that loves fashion then you're at the right place go ahead and click that subscribe button down below as well as the notification bell and you're notified each and every time i upload a video also follow your girl at idesign8 on instagram so you can catch some of my looks okay periods i'm actually revamping my youtube and instagram page so i can't wait to actually you know do that if you start seeing you know pictures and everything like that being deleted it's only because i really want to revamp i'm not satisfied with my aesthetics but i'll get into that in another like video like a little chit chat maybe get ready with me type of video but yeah you guys anyway we're gonna go ahead and get straight into the video i'm just gonna go ahead and take this towel off it's gonna look real crazy but this is how my hair looks. Um, it's actually freshly relaxed. I probably got it relaxed like three weeks ago, but in my opinion, that's freshly relaxed. Yeah, it's kind of, I would say maybe 45, 50% dry. So I'm just gonna go in with a blow dryer. Before I do, I am going to use some products on my hair. I'm gonna get into that soon. So I always get a lot of questions. I definitely want to just answer some of you guys' questions. But I am relaxed. I've been relaxed probably about two years now. I find that, you know, relaxed hair is the best hair for me. I've also done a lot of things on wigs, protective styling. I've been natural. Um, I've been relaxed. I've been very short cut, pixie cut. I, uh, you know, had this bob and I've also had longer hair. So I've had a lot of different hairstyles and I think by far now that I'm in my late 20s or whatever, I ain't gonna say the age because I'm getting old, but now that I'm in my late 20s, I feel that this is the best hairstyle for me at this moment. I love it. I actually just recently, if you can't tell, cut my hair. I'm trying not to look so crazy. I actually just recently cut my hair. Um, the last time I got a relaxer, so that was probably about three weeks ago. Um, and I kind of feel like it's grown since then. Sorry guys, I got some water. But yeah, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. I always like to, you know, respond back to you guys. But yeah, I'm gonna have like this angle and then I'm gonna try to have my other camera for another angle so you can see, you know, the size and stuff like that. As far as with products, I have two different heat protectants that I use um, before I blow dry my hair. The one, this one is the Tresemme. It is a heat protectant. It's up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit and it is a leave-in spray. I've been using this for years and I absolutely love it. However, I have also tried the Pantene Gold Series. And if you haven't tried the Pantene Gold Series, like you must try it. Like I feel like people are already on the trend because every time I go to the beauty supply store, I'm not able to find anything. But I have the Pantene Gold Series Thermal Heat Protector and I use this. So I basically just combine these two right here. That's what we're going to do. Now we're going to go in and blow dry my hair. Now as far as like with blow drying my hair, I use this hot and hotter blow dryer, which is so old. I mean, it's broke. Um, it sometimes works, sometimes it don't. Like I just have like this little hat that I have to use to kind of get it to go on. And you girl, this cheap over here. I've been really meaning to actually buy another one, um, but I just been so slack. I have to take any comb and just comb through my hair. And I'm going to start blow drying my hair. We're about to bump that Tiana Taylor. That Tiana Taylor. Period. She is it.
All right, so I would say that my hair is probably about 90% dry. Um, I'm gonna take like a small little break and then I'm gonna go in and uh, blow dry it again. I'm gonna talk about two products that I'm going to be using. I generally use this at nighttime. The first thing is the Sulfur 8 Medicaid Original Formula. Um, I do have this very, very bad spot right here. Sometimes it flares up really badly and then sometimes it, you know, it's, it's good. Um, um, you probably will be able to see like it's really dry, like right here in this area, it's extremely dry. Sometimes it gets really, really flaky. I use the Sulfur 8 for that. You know, I find that when I do use this on a consistent basis that it does help that spot. I have like a few, you know, little spots like right here, right here, and then also right here, um, you know, that's giving me problems. You know, cause your girl ain't trying to be edgeless. Um, so I've been using the Sunny Isle I think it's Sunny Owl Jamaican Organic Extra Virgin Coconut Oil and it replenish and rejuvenate. So basically it says it's for daily use for the hair and scalp for hydration and regrowth of the hairline. But I've been using this um, since I got it like every night and I can say that I've noticed a little difference right here. Um, I don't know if you can see it but I do have like hairs that are growing back. Um, All right, so now here comes the fun part where I'm just going to style my hair really quick. The products that I'm going to be using is the Chi Silk Infusion here. I'm also going to use the Painting Gold Series Intense Hydrating Oil. Right now I have three sections in my hair. I'm gonna take both of these and I'm just gonna put them on that section. I try not to take a lot to be honest with you. Like I don't even know if you can see this, but I try not to take a lot because I don't want my hair to be heavy or weighed down. Um, I really like for it to be just lightweight and flowy, um, but I like to, you know, for it to be hydrated as well. I'm not going to lie, I'm not the most confident when it comes to the back, but we gon' we gonna try and get it together.
Um, what I like to do here is basically take the flat iron and I kind of do like a few passes at the roots and then I will kind of bring it out like with the turn and gonna go under like this and I'll do one more time and then that's gonna create my little bang or feathered you know type of look Like the first day hair is not like cute um, in my opinion. It's only cute whenever it's like second day hair. I'm gonna take this um, shining jam and put it on my edges. I just like my edges to be done 